Hello everyone. There are just a couple of things that really grind my gears about the skincare industry and I've got to get them off my chest um, because I feel like it's uh, manipulating customers and that really makes me mad. First off, can we address parabens? Okay, so you saw out of kind of nowhere a few years back that everyone was terrified of parabens all of a sudden. It was a, this horrible, scary thing. And I went along for the ride until I did an article for my then school's um, uh, magazine. And I researched parabens thinking that I was going to find all this bad stuff. I interviewed a, a former chemist to some major plastics um, companies. And I interviewed someone who was just new to the skincare industry who was trying to get his brand off the ground. And then I talked to a skincare veteran um, who has a seat on the international um, cosmetic boards. She's had her own skincare line for decades, and her own son was her chemist. So, besides that, I also looked into all the studies I could find on parabens. Wow, there's not a lot of evidence it does anything. Some of the more damning um, research that pointed in uh, connection to cancer is all false equivalency. What does that mean? So it said these women um, use things with paraben and they also got breast cancer. Well as we know the causes for breast cancer are kind of complex and they are wide-ranging. For example my girlfriend and I She's going to kick me because I don't know the name of the gene, but she has a um, gene that just guarantees she's going to get breast cancer and uterine cancer, and her sister's going to, and unfortunately her sweet little niece is going to. Her mom did. It has nothing to do with parabens. Um, actually, drinking alcohol is one of the leading causes of breast cancer, so put down the drink. Um, and I'm saying that as someone who no longer drinks. Also, as soon as I started talking to the veteran in the skincare industry, she said it's all a scare tactic. It's all a sales pitch. Look, just because it says it doesn't have something in it doesn't mean that thing has actually been proven to be bad. The guy that I talked to that was just trying to get his brand off the ground, he did not know any of the science behind parabens. Uh, he didn't even know what they were. All he knew was that he couldn't sell anything that had parabens in it because no one would buy it. It's all a scare tactic. The science behind it is like this. There's so much more research that needs to be done before we can swear off parabens. And there's different kinds of parabens. It's not just one kind. Um, so they're all going to behave differently. This is a sales tactic. This is a scare tactic. Just, you know, next time someone brags it doesn't have parabens in it, just ask them, why are parabens dangerous? And really scrutinize their answer because it's not going to have science behind it. They'll just say it's bad for you or it causes cancer. That's a pretty strong statement to say something causes cancer. We know cigarettes cause cancer, okay? We do not know that parabens cause cancer. So just keep that in mind. I was, I was naive to it too. Okay, the second pet peeve of mine is the use of organic in skincare. Listen, there is no regulations on what is organic like there is in the food industry. None. Water is an organic compound. When we think of organic, we think of something that is organically grown without chemicals, etc. But it's also organic, like mud is an organic um, compound. Water is. Um, something could be 90% water, and guess what they can say without any legal repercussions? My product is 90% <laughs> organic or natural. There are no laws like there are on food labeling where um, I study dietetics. I have a degree in dietetics. I'm not just, you know, throwing out my opinion. 
they don't mean organic like they do on food labeling. They mean organic as in from the earth. Um, and yeah, they may have some synthetic things in there, but doesn't saying it's 98% organic sound really good? It's not any different from another product that is not labeled and it could have the exact same ingredients. Don't be fooled by marketing tactics. Look to the science. Skincare is part nature, part science. That's why I really like Unique's products because they don't shy away from science. If there was some magical natural cure, we would not be spending all this money on products that have been researched. They just put a pretty label on it and say no parabens and 100% organic. Guess what? It could be a bottle of water. Keep that in mind. You're smarter than that. But like I said, I was naive too. I just didn't think of these things, but I'm very scientifically minded. So when I found out, I changed my mind. And that's why I wanted to share it with you because I know you're smart enough to think a bit more critically next time you go to the beauty counter. I hope you feel less scared of um, some of your beauty products now. Um, I hope you follow the science. If there's something that's all the hype, look into it. Actually look into what are in your beauty products if you are concerned because usually it's probably something pretty innocent that's used to um, make it uh, be stable, um, make the consistency better. These aren't things to be afraid of. You know, be afraid of these big companies have a lot at stake to put something that's going to cause cancer in their products. That's something I learned from the lady that was a chemist for um, uh, for a lot of plastics um, companies. She said the biggest companies have the most at risk and they have the most money to do the most research. And the conspiracy thing is not not true. Um, there are studies that are buried and not published because they look bad. That doesn't mean the company isn't changing the formulation um, or ingredients um, because of that. Maybe they found out something was ha uh, causing people a bad reaction and then they changed it and then they put out the study that showed that it wasn't harmful. Just keep that in mind. Scientists have a lot of integrity. Um, it would have to be a huge, huge conspiracy on the... Um, in the scientific community to cover all this stuff up. And how likely is that? Come on, you're smart. Think about it. Um, I'm just telling you to not be so afraid of these little things that aren't even proven and to be more concerned with the big things like what are you putting in your body to eat? Opposed to what's in my cream that I even don't know what it is but I know that they told me I should be afraid of it. Like the no sulfates thing. There are people that have horrible allergies to sulfates. I have known of one such person and it's horrible. But guess what? That doesn't mean that you need to avoid it. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your precious time in this life worrying about parabens. It's the boogeyman. They're the boogeyman. And if science comes out to show that they do some horrible, wretched thing to us, I will then take my words back. But right now, there just isn't. The studies were like that big, and there was about five. Just be careful. Be smart. I know you are. And I'm going to leave it at that. Thanks for watching.